Next week will mark 50 years since the deadliest plane crash in Kansas history. Several events are planned to remember the crash of an Air Force plane at 20th and Pyatt in Northeast Wichita it killed 30 people and injured 17 more. Joining us now is Senator Aletha Fauscado. Thank you so much for being here, Senator. I'm honored to be here. Thank you for having me. And you are on the committee of this memorial, and this is so important that people really remember the victims of this mm. awful plane crash that happened right here in our city. Absolutely. Um, 30 people uh, lost their lives all in the same place, the same time. Uh, at that 1965 uh, Pyatt Street plane crash. Uh, checking with the Historical Society, mm -hmm. it's still the worst aviation military disaster in our w city of Wichita and the state of Kansas. Uh, I was honored to be part of the committee that helped raise funds to erect a monument at the actual site mm -hmm. of the crash uh, after 9-11. It was hard for people to get on base and view the monument there right. that was placed there by other military personnel and by other community leaders. Mm -hmm. And so um, just to have a place where people can go and reflect, especially those who actually lost their family members their in ones. that crash. Right. Tell us what's going to take pl well, next I week. Well, I tell you, uh, at 3 p.m., on Friday, January 16th, 2015, we will have a memorial service at the crash site mm -hmm. there uh, at 20th and Pyatt. Uh, McConnell Air Force Base is going to join us. They're gonna do a flyover. They're gonna be there and present the colors. We are going to have uh, family members of one of the pilots uh -huh. that made that brave decision to go nose first into the ground as opposed to mm -hmm. sliding and perhaps killing more people. They're going to be at the memorial service ah, that's be along so with a, uh, a, a lady that was 15 years old at the time of the crash. Her house, her home, where she lost her mother and her sister, mm. actually set exactly where the monument sets Boy. today at 20th and Pyatt. And here's some video of the memorial. And I remember I was telling you, Senator, that I had interviewed a man who was just a child when it yeah. took place, and he looked out his front window, and he said he remembers just seeing a plume of oh, flames wow, and smoke. Yeah. And he said at the time we thought hell had just struck. Yeah, wow. And ran out the back door. And it, it, it happened right here at 20th and Pyatt. Yes. And it's incredible if we can go out there next week and show our support for these families, even though it was so long ago. It's so important that we show them. Absolutely. 50 years later, and when I spoke to the daughter mm -hmm. of Sergeant Joseph Jenkins, who was on the plane, one of the pilots. She was only three at the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she was happy that her mother kept her father's uh, uh, life uh, um, alive right, to her. Right. And she's excited to mm -hmm. join us uh, at 3 p.m. on Friday, January 16th. If you'd like more information, you can call 316-652-9067. We'll be right back.